They say that every story has a beginning and an end, but that isn't always the case. Some stories simply stop. My name is Zoe Castillo. I'm dying. I've been in a coma for over a year. The doctors don't believe I'll ever wake up again. My mother did this to me. She put me here so that I wouldn't be able to tell my story, so that she could keep her secrets. It worked. The world is addicted to dreams, to dream time. It's just entertainment. They have no idea what the dream machine is really for and what it's doing to the world. They don't know that someone is stealing their dreams, using them to reshape reality. So, if I'm in a coma, how am I talking to you? The thing is, my body may be here in a hospital, but my mind... My mind is elsewhere. This is the story time. It's the place between. And it's my home now. This place where all stories begin and end, including mine. Sleeping Beauty. Coma as a fashion statement? No, oh, that's awful. But I honestly do look better on my deathbed. Story time. I don't know how long I've been here. Six months? Nine? Someone's having a nightmare about a dying child. That must be absolutely terrifying. This is a dream. Your baby will be okay. Why won't you help? She's all alone. I know that feeling. You're not alone. There are people out there you can connect with. But you need to stop using the dream machine first. It's not helping you. Trapped, burned alive. That's a terrifying nightmare. There's no fire and you're not dying. It's only a nightmare. You've been using the dreamer too much. It's messing with your head. Ugh, I used to have this dream all the time. Naked, exposed. It's worse than it sounds. This isn't real. No one can see you. You'll wake up soon and everything will be fine. But you should stop using the dream machine or the nightmares will continue. This dream is different. It's more persistent. And the dreamer... It's a child. Oh, great. I'll need to go in and untangle it. Stop. Don't come any closer. Leave me be. There are too many of you. I can't say... I can't help everyone. Just go... away! Oh, she must be terrified. Poor girl. Shh. 
don't make a sound, it will hear you. Who will? The monster in the closet. It will hear you and eat us both. I promise it won't hurt you. You swear? I swear. I won't let it. But you need to get back home. I can't find my way. The way back is through there. Through the wardrobe. I can't go in there. It will eat me alive. Not if we destroy it first. Don't worry. And whatever's in there, it's no match for me, I promise. Are you like a superhero? Something like that. What do you think of my costume? It's really cool. No, no, no. Light could work, but I don't think there's anything to draw on there. That thing is darkness through and through. It would need to come from somewhere else. Not peeking inside that thing's head. I've made that mistake in the past, never again. She dropped it. It rolled away. She doesn't know where it is. She won't go looking for the light herself. She's afraid of the slithering things in the dark. Hey, who can blame her? dark. Can't see anything under there. Bingo. Bringer of light. Emissary of electricity. The mighty torch. Torch. Flashlight. It's hiding. Stupid, smart, tentacled thingy. It's too quick for me. I'm quickly running out of ideas. It's a torch. It projects a light beam. It's used to penetrate. It's too quick. It hides before I can destroy it. too close. It will take you. You're safe now. Thank you. But I don't know how to get back home. I don't know where my mummy is. She's on the other side of the wardrobe waiting for you. It's... it's scary. Come on. Do you use a dream machine? Mum makes me. She says it keeps me occupied. Then she has time to play with hers. The next time she does that, you need to say no. She won't like that. Maybe not, but you tell her it's dangerous, that it gives you nightmares. I could tell Daddy. He doesn't live with us, but I talk to him all the time. You do that. Now go through and you'll wake up again. Thank you. What's your name? Zoe. And remember, no dream time. I might not be able to find you again. This has to stop.
The Vagabond. Master of the story time. Sort of. What's going on out there? More and more people are getting caught in loops. I can't keep up. I thought the Dream Machines weren't dangerous anymore. I thought we took care of that. If not, then... Hello, Zoe. Look, I'm trying to help them all, and... and... There are too many, and they're nightmares. They're getting worse. You have to go home. There's no home to go back to, and... and I don't want to be the person I used to be. I have a purpose here. If I do wake up, I'll be... lost. For... for better or worse, this is my home now. The person I used to be is... is gone. There's no home to go back to. What's there to go back to? Whatever awaits you on the other side is for you alone to discover. Your single thread runs through the fabric of the universe, weaving events together. But where it ends, I do not know. I have nothing out there, and... I have no one. Besides, I'm needed here. What will happen if I just... abandon them? Their night terrors are symptoms of a larger disease. As long as the disease itself is alive and spreading, those people will keep coming back. I'm not ready to wake up, to face myself again. There are no second chances. There's nothing I can do. The dream is being tainted. The world is getting sicker. They all need you. I don't... Isn't it enough that I'm making a difference here, in store? This is where I belong. What difference can I make? There is a great power within you. The power to set things right in your world and all others. You saved your reality once, Zoe. This time, all the worlds, all of story time, all of time is at stake. When you wake up, this will all be a dream. And that dream will quickly fade. Soon, it will be forgotten entirely. Unless you fight to remember it, you must open your heart and mind to messages from those who know what to do. You don't know? I'm not omniscient, Zoe. Much is hidden from me. I can see all the threads as they are woven, but the greater weave itself is too large for me to see. I'm too close, and even here, some of the past is obscured. This bothers me. I believe someone may have clouded my memory by design. An enemy, a shadow with tendrils into story time and elsewhere. If you stay here much longer, you may never be able to leave. And then everyone's story ends. All the people who love you, all the people you love, and everyone else, past, present, and future, torn out of the story like pages from a book. Why me? Because you are the dreamer. You must find your way back to your sleeping body. You must wake up, and then you must save the world. Because that worked so well the first time around. You changed everything. That story had a beginning and an end. But it was also only the first half of your story. How do I wake up? There is a door. Find the door and unlock it, and you will wake up. Will I see you again? If all goes well. At the end of your journey, when your story is complete, you will see me again. One last time. That sounds final. But yeah, okay. I'll, um, go. Find the key. Unlock the door. Remember everything. Save the world. Write my story. Return for epilogue. Bury Hero's journey. You will do fine, Zoe Castillo. I have faith in you. Good luck.
I'm ever going to find a way out of this place, that's my doorway. Me. I tried reading my own mind once. The feedback loop was nasty. I kept bouncing around my own head like... like a reflection in a hall of mirrors. The... I don't know what you'd call it, the signal from my comatose brain, it's too weak. It's getting drowned out by my waking thoughts. To tap into my subconscious, I'd have to somehow boost the signal and turn down the volume on my conscious mind. This is probably a terrible idea, but if I can adjust the mixture of drugs going into my veins, I might be able to give my brain a chemical jolt, boost the subconscious signal. Don't know if it'll work or just kill me, but beggars, choosers. Thing is, I can't push any buttons from in here. That machine is out there, in the physical world. I don't think my dreaming powers extend that far unless... Unless I can somehow affect the state of things that are mirrored in here. So, if I slow these readings down, the system should compensate by adjusting the drug dosage, jolting my system, hopefully waking me up, possibly killing me. Well, fingers properly crossed. <laughs> Oh, bollocks, the machine's going nuts. Oh, I feel really weird. The machine's gone haywire. It's pumping a crazy amount of drugs into my body. I just wanted a little pick-me-upper, not an actual OD. So, okay, the cocktail of industrial strength chemicals the machine has injected into my body is boosting the subconscious signal. But now, oh, it's too fast, too jarring, like, like a train of thought going at the speed of light. I can't get a good grip on it. Okay, so, magic machine is working overtime, pumping a scary amount of drugs into my system. Wonkers, my old Wattilla. Focus, Zoe. I'm thinking this could turn out to be a very bad thing. Me. My... Where do you think you're going? You're staying here with me doing the only thing we're good at, being dead. I'm She's right. Is that who I really am? Is she what I've been running away from? Who are you? You don't remember who you are. Or who you were before you started playing hero, dreamer, savior of worlds. Everything about you is a lie. I'm the fucking truth. You can't escape that. No, you're not leaving, and you're not leaving me behind. I've made up my mind. She's right. I can't leave. I've made up my mind. I'm not letting her stand in my way. I've made up my... I'm going home. Your father lied to you. Your mother tried to kill you. You put your friends in danger, and you lost every single one of them. That sounds like the perfect home to return to. We don't have a home to go back to. Maybe she's right. Maybe she's not. So it's not perfect. It's not all gone. There's a chance to take we don't have. Maybe she's right. I'm going to find out for certain. I'm ready to embrace who I was. Who I am. Who I will be. And... and who is that? I used to know exactly what I wanted to do with my life. I don't know why I lost faith, but I'm ready for a change.
I don't know yet. You're a part of me now. You always will be. Come on. Life's waiting out there. Let's find out what's happening.